Welcome to video 3 for this unit on introducing exponential functions. In this video, we're going to focus on graphs of exponential functions. An exponential function can give us information about a graph that represents it. For example, suppose the function q represents a bacteria population t hours after it is first measured and q of t equals 5,000 times 1.5 to the t. The number 5,000 is the bacteria population when t is 0. The number 1.5 indicates that each hour the bacteria population increases by a factor of 1.5. A graph can help us see how the starting population and growth factor influence the population. Here is a graph of q. Suppose the function p represents another bacteria population given by p of t equals 5,000 times 2 to the t. Here is a graph of p on the same coordinate plane. The graphs of p and q both start at 0, 5,000, but the graph of p is growing more quickly than the graph of q. This makes sense because the population represented by p is doubling every hour with a growth factor of 2, while the population represented by q is only increasing by a factor of 1.5 each hour. A third bacteria population is represented by the function r, given by r of t equals 5,000 times 1.2 to the t. How will the graph of r compare to the graphs of P and Q. The graph of R has the same initial value of 5,000, and it grows more slowly than P or Q. If we have enough information about a graph representing an exponential function f, we can write a corresponding equation. Here is a graph of y equals f of x. An equation defining an exponential function has the form f of x equals a times b to the x. The value of a is the starting value, or f of 0. So it is the y-intercept of the graph. We can see that f of 0 is 500, and that the function is decreasing. The value of b is the growth factor. To find the growth factor for f, we can calculate f of 1 divided by f of 0, which is 300 divided by 500, or 3 fifths. So an equation that defines f is f of x equals 500 times 3 fifths to the x. Suppose that you won the top prize from a game show and are given two options. Option 1 is a cash gift of $10,000 and $1,000 per day for the next seven days. Option 2 is a cash gift of one cent that grows tenfold each day for seven days. Which option would you choose? In the first option, the amount of money increases by the same amount, $1,000, each day, so we can represent it with a linear function. In the second option, the money grows by multiples of 10, so we can represent it with an exponential function. Let f represent the amount of money x days after winning with the first option, and let g represent the amount of money x days after winning with the second option. Then the function for option 1 can be written f of x equals 10,000 plus 1,000x. And the function for option 2 can be written g of x equals 0 0.01 times 10 to the x. Here is a graph of f and g on the same coordinate plane. What will the graphs look like for x equals 7?
For the first few days, the second option trails far behind the first. Because of the repeated multiplication by 10, however, after seven days, it surges past the amount in the first option. Thank you for watching video three of four for this unit on introducing exponential functions.